I am happy to welcome everyone to this third session of our webinar series. It's under this at UMIAGO campus teacher education and ICT extension services with our project Bully Bridging Students Learning Amidst Pandemic. So this is Mrs. Helen N. Perlas, an IT instructor and it's under ISAT UMIAGO campus teacher education and ICT extension services. So I will be giving you a training on Facebook Social Learning Group as Learning Management System. Before the start of the training, I would like to first give you an idea about what we are to have in the training. So our activities are, first we shall have the creating of Facebook group, second, the setting of the Facebook group as a social learning type, third, the creating of units, fourth is the posting of activity, fifth is the creating of quizzes, and sixth is the downloading of quiz results. So after the training, you will be able to develop your own Facebook social learning group and you will be able to create your own units under your courses or subjects handled, then post an activity or activities for that particular subject and then create units and uh, download the results. Okay, so before I start the training, I would like to give you first a sample of how it is like okay to have this kind of platform okay so i will be sharing to you my own experience in the platform okay so we shall now start with our uh, activity so here we are dear teachers to my social learning account this facebook account is created intended for my classes only this time of uh, pandemic so let's try to explore this account it contains several groups of my classes so let's try to click at the icon here okay so i would like to tour you into my uh, facebook facebook social learning group so let's try to look at the i have here uh, one two three three four I have introduction to ict web systems and technologies 3c so same subject 3b sse elective one ict ed and then web systems and technologies uh, 3a so let's try to look at the web systems and technologies uh, group because it's a major subject in it so i could feel that this has a lot of content which i'll be sharing with you okay so this is the content of the group you can see here the name of the group under the manage group then we have here the admin tools and since this is a new facebook interface you can always go back or switch to the old version of facebook which we call classic facebook so let's try to look at the content of this group so we have here the following uh, uh, menu or content of the group so we have here the about the discussion units announcements rooms members and so on so the the great or the good point of the social learning type of group is you can create learning units wherein you can organize your content in the subject so let's try to explore the units part of this group so i would like to show you the units contained in this group so i have here in the unit one i have in the first week of my class i have the orientation that's about unit one it contains the outline of the course the house rules of the virtual classroom and you can see how many had seen the post and how many reacted so in the unit 2 i have here module 1 introduction to web this is the first topic that i have in this course so it contains the material the module 1 introduction to web i use video in my channel i upload the material then 
paste here the link, post here, then I conduct to them the quiz later after watching the video I've posted. In the unit 3, I have the module 2, that's web publishing, so same procedure. I have posted the material, that is video, and then I gave them quiz to check if they have learned from that topic. Then for the unit 4, we have here the laboratory activities. So I have given them uh, three activities under our laboratory activities. So we have, uh, I first uh, give them the learning materials or the, the video that will give them an introduction about our learning activity. So I have here the activity one. And then I give them a demonstration of how to go about with the next activity. And this is already the activity two. Okay, so the, this video demonstration is about activity two. And then our activity three. Okay, so I, before I give them the activity three, I first uh, give them another demonstration in preparation for this activity. So that's about the unit four. And for the unit five, I posted another via material, video material. So I didn't anymore give them a quiz in this uh, unit or in this module because the content of the, the, the quiz is incorporated already in their midterm exam. So, so unit six, we have here the midterm exam. So I gave them the materials they need to review. These are the coverage of the exam, okay? They can just download it if they want to review or do they just uh, go back to the videos I've shared to them if they want to watch it, which contains the, the exam. So this is medium exam. I use the face, the, the forms no, to, to give them exams or the what you call Google forms. They do online exam. Okay, so for the unit seven, I have the laboratory module. So it, our topic here is hyperlinks, how they are to add hyperlinks to their web page. So this uh, module has the following content. So I gave them the material about how to add hyperlinks. I gave them the activity and then quiz and then the, the text material. Okay, so those are the content of this group. And uh, I can always check their output in every unit Okay, I am always guided about how I, where I will go if I want to check that particular topic of ours. So I would like also to give you some uh, picture of how I do the checking of their outputs. So suppose in this activity, okay, so activity one, I allow them to just uh, upload their output under my post so in this activity one okay so these are the expected output that they are to submit to me I show them the, the sample and then they are to just comment their output so let's see the comment here I first okay so these are examples of their output but before they submit their own outputs I first uh, upload my own output here so that they'll be guided about how they are to submit or what, uh, I mean, what kind of output I am expecting from them. Okay, so just like this one, I am still uh, downloading the, the, the first uh, up comment in this uh, post, which is mine, this one. So this is my activity, this is my own work, and they can submit that way, submit like that, okay, to give them idea about how they are to do the submission of their output. Then it is the first uploader or the, the first to submit activity. Okay, so it will be followed by the rest of the classmates who are already done with that activity. Okay, so I check their output. So they will know that I was able to see it because I react it with heart. Okay, so that's how I do the checking also of their output. So that's it. I hope you've already pictured out how your classroom will be like if you are to adapt this kind of platform in your online teaching and uh, students' learning. Okay, dear teachers, to start with our training proper, 
I would like to again give you a recall of what we are to have now in our training. Okay, so the following are, are our activities. So first is creating of a Facebook group. Second, setting of the Facebook group as a social learning type. Third is the creating of units. Fourth is the posting of an activity. Fifth is the creating of quizzes. And sixth is the downloading of quiz results. So let's start it off with this icon. So this icon will allow you to add or create a Facebook group. Okay, so we just have to click it. Then we are to choose, okay, what we are to create. So here we are to choose group. So after clicking that option, it will appear in our interface. Here we are to specify the important details of the group. So we are to add here the group name. So suppose I want to create a group for my web systems and technologies. So web systems and technologies. Okay, so I just use the name of the descriptive name of the course I am handling in the first semester. Next is we are to specify the privacy. So if you want to set your classroom or group as a public domain, you can choose this. But usually if it is a group of, or a virtual classroom, we set it into private. Okay, so most of the time I set it into hidden. And I want only those members to see the name of the group if they search on it. Okay, so it's up to you guys or the, their teachers as to how you want the, the privacy of your group be. So it could be visible, we, which anyone can find the group if they search on it or hidden. Okay? Okay, so next, uh, we are to invite friends, but that's optional. So in our case, I first have, I, I have to invite my students to be my friends so that I can easily invite them in the group to be members or to join the group. Or I will be requesting them to invite their other classmates to the group if they're already members. Okay, so that's it. So let's just do that later. Okay, so let's move on to the next uh, setting of the group. Okay, so this is already the details of the group so we had already created a group okay so we have here one member so that's about me okay so i'm only the member of the group because i was not able to add yet other members okay so next is so if i want to create an invite suppose i had already here uh students friends no so I can just have, I can just uh, click invite here later, okay? Okay, but that will be later. So in case you want it now, just have to click, okay? Or type the name of friends, like suppose. Okay, so I want to invite Sir Helmer to be my student in this group or to be the member or a member of this group. So, Sir Helmer will be accepting the invite. If he did accept my invite, then he will become a member of this group. Okay, so that's about creating of a Facebook group. Okay, so I would like to continue the setting of this group. So, you can look at here in the about, okay, in the about panel of this uh, interface so we are to change the the general group settings okay since we can do we cannot do it here in this new facebook all we have to do is to click switch now okay because that setting of the general setting is not available in this new facebook so all we have to do is to click switch now to go back to the classic Facebook so we can perform other settings which are not yet available in the new Facebook interface. So that's one or some of the pitfalls of the new Facebook because it is still, I think it's still updating the Facebook 
uh, the new Facebook is, is still undergoing the updates. That's why some of the things that we can do in the classic Facebook is not available in the new one. Okay, so here we are in the classic Facebook interface. So this is how it looks like in the classic Facebook interface. Okay, so I would like you, if you are to do the changing of the Facebook setting, I would like you to click at the more here, more button, then click edit group settings. Okay, so you can see here several options or fields which you can edit okay but others can just be done later so i would like to give you an idea about the group name because you can always change it so just have to correct the spelling of the group name then i want to change the group type into social learning type so i just have to click the change button here then choose from among the group types the group learning just click it here in the option button then click save button if you are done okay so other details of the group will be updated okay it is already changed into social learning uh, type so in the landing tab as to what part of the group or the interface will appear first to appear if the students or if you open the the, the group okay so you are to choose the landing tab so we can always change it you can either choose discussion or units so in my case i use units so that i can easily see i can right away see the units if i'll open the group of our classrooms so you can always have to specify here the description okay then tag you can always do that but uh, that will be later Okay, so if you want to link the page, if you know if you have any pages there and you want to link this group to that page, you can always link it. Okay, you can always choose color. If you want if you like to change the color, you can always do the change. If you want to customize the address, which you will be needing, okay, you can always uh, do that. Like suppose the address of this Facebook group will be uh Perlas the uh, group supposed okay so click custom okay so the apostrophe is not accepted on open numeric and are supported so it's not supported so per this group only customized okay but that's optional you can always uh, do you can always uh, choose not to do that or to change that next uh hidden only members can find this group but you can always change it to visible okay next so there are things here which you can always uh, adjust okay so at this time in the membership approval i don't want anyone in the group to approve okay any member to want to join in the group so i'll just set here on the admins and moderators so you always have the free the free uh, will to change your settings depends on the level of security you want to implement in your group so so about the membership pre-approvals so you can always set that but they will not set here so don't allow pages to join as group members we only want the students no not pages so only admins can post to the group okay so if you want that all group posts must be approved by an admin or a moderator just have to click here so to me i would always want to know what is posted or i want to be the one to post to do the posting that's why i check it here i do all the postings i don't allow any students to post in the group Okay, so if you want a keyword, okay, that alerts or tell you when the members are certain or use certain words or phrases in your group. Okay, so if you are done with the settings, just have to click save button. Okay, so that's how we do the changing of 
or the editing of the settings of our Facebook group. Okay, so we'll see in a little later how it will look like. It will not really change much the, the appearance of our group, but the settings, particularly the, the, group, the, the type of the group. Okay, so you can always upload the photo if you want to change this one. Just have to click the button here. Okay, if you want to change the photo of the Facebook group, just click upload photos. Then you can just choose a photo you want to be, the photo of that group. So if it is ICT or IT1, IT105, just have to choose that picture to be the background so that it will be more unique and you can easily identify the, the group by its uh, cover photo okay so you can always drag to the position okay but that's already okay this is already okay then click save if you are done okay so we are done with the settings of facebook group as a social learning type and the rest of the privacy settings and so on okay that's our second uh, activity our third activity is the creating of units. So when we are already done with the settings and we had already invited our students and they are already members of this group, we can now do the posting. But since uh, there's no member or students yet, just uh, demonstrate to you how to do the posting. Okay? Let's move on. So suppose... Uh, I want to first create a unit before the posting or the posts. So to do the creation of units, you can see here your group has social learning units. You can create an agenda or curriculum, put posts in your own order, track completion of posts, help people learn new things. So those are the advantages of the social learning units. So let's now create unit. Click at the button here. Then, type the title of the unit. Like, suppose I want to have Module 1. Suppose the title of the Module 1 is Web Publishing. Publishing. Okay, so description. So, usually the description is the expected or the desired learning outcomes I want in this topic or in this module. So, let's say... At the end of the topic, the students must have, then I will specify here, the expected outputs of the students or the outcomes of the students must have, supposed, defined web publishing. Second, created a simple HTML, a simple HTML file, suppose. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. So if you want to make that unit optional, but this is not just optional, it is a required unit to me. So if you like to set it into optional, okay, you can just check here, okay? But if it is required, just uncheck the box. If you are done, just click create units, okay? Then you can see here the units that or the unit that you have created in a little later. Okay, so here we are in the unit one. So suppose... You want to make a post under the unit 1, okay? Suppose they want to post, okay. So, I'll post here the content of web publishing. I'll first share a material, but before we post it, we must first have a title. So, module 1, web publishing. Then, I'll instruct my students what they are to do to learn the topic. Please watch this video 
about this topic we shall have a quiz soon supposed okay so since my materials are in the youtube in my channel what i do is copy the link of that material from my channel okay i'll first have to go to my channel so copy the link this is my channel where i post or upload the, the video materials or demonstration that i use in my classes okay then i'll look for that web publishing post or web publishing video okay i can find it okay i just have to go to the video videos So here we are in my channel videos. I'm looking for that web publishing video where I can copy the link. Here it is. So just click it here, then get shareable link. Link copied to clipboard. I'll go back with my Facebook group. I'll paste here the link. That's what I do. But you can always upload a PDF file. So paste here the link then the thumbnail of that video will appear okay so click post then it will appear here in the units where the students can click it here then they can view the video and watch the module the content of that topic okay so that's about posting and another way for you to post Okay, so suppose I want to add more content or more materials in this topic. I just have to uh, add more uh, title or her posts like web publishing PDF publishing. Okay, Pub okay, so just. Uh, have to specify there or give them instruction uh, you may download the pdf file or the pdf material of our topic so all we have to do is to just add file here okay then choose the file I look for it in my documents here okay so this is how we do it okay new normal syllabic resources so we have here module 8105 and uh, I click the PDF file of that uh, content okay so we have to Click at post if you are done. Then we'll wait a little while for her the Facebook to finish uh, uploading and uh, post it in the group. So students can just uh, download it or read it anytime they want. Okay, so this is already the second post we had. Okay. So you will download the PDF material about topic. This is the material. Okay, this is the video. So suppose you want to post a picture. Okay, so you can always just have to uh, specify the title. Okay, our topic today. So I uh, just oops. Add media here post a picture but make sure that what you are clicking or uh, selecting is that the picture so I'll just have to choose a picture okay so save pictures I think it's in the okay hold on I'm looking for it 
pictures. So suppose this is the picture. Okay. So okay, here. Click open. Then if it's done, you have to wait until it is loaded by the Facebook. Then click at post. Okay. Then now this is already the, the result of that post. So we have made several posts under the unit one. So module one, the first post, second post is the material, the PDF format, and under one is the, the picture. So it depends on the material that you want to share with your students under that unit. Okay? So that's it. So suppose you want to add more units because you have unit two, three, four, five, and so on. So you want to discuss or share or move on to the next topic of your course or of your subjects. Okay, so in adding more units, so this is already the unit one. To add under unit, we have to click here the create unit. But before we do that, make sure that we click here the units. Okay, then click create unit. Okay, so same procedure. We just have to type here the name of the name of the ta topic. Okay, you want to discuss with the students or share with the students like uh, hyperlink suppose. Then specify here the description like uh, at the end of the topic, the students must have something like that. Then specify here uh, the sign. A web page with hyperlinks okay then click create unit if you have several uh, outcomes or learning outcomes you can just always add another here there two three four and so on so then after which you have to just click create unit button to create one okay so we'll do the same thing we just have to do the posting so again so this is already unit two we'll make a post our video in this topic okay so write something watch and learn so it's up to you how you do the inner topic okay so this is actually not the way i do the instruction or type the text but to make it easy for me to type the content but i just have to type it this way but anyway let's move on so i'll share again another link so i always have to jump on to my channel then apply or look for that video i've uh, uploaded okay so it's up to you guys or teachers what kind of material you want to upload okay or share with your students so to me i just share the link of the video i've created so i paste here the link of that video okay then click post and students will just have to click at the link or the posted link so that they can watch the video okay so that's it we had the created two units and had posted uh, post or materials in each unit okay so that's about the creating of units so we have here the unit one the module one then the unit two the hyperlinks okay so that's our third activity the next is the posting of activity we are already done okay so after we created the unit we have already posted activity the next thing we are to do is the creation of quizzes so how do we create a quiz okay so suppose i want to, to create a quiz under the module one okay so i had already given one week time to explore the content or the materials i've shared to my students and in next week before the start of the new unit i would like to first have an assessment on their learning something like that okay so to do the creation of quiz we have to first click at the title of the unit where we want to create a quiz so under the unit one i want here
to evaluate their learning supposed so i'll just have to instead of making a post or sharing a file at this time i would like to click create a quiz okay so under the create quiz dialog box you just have to specify the title of the quiz i want to uh, publish it so we have here whatever is the title of that topic that's also the title of the quiz okay oops web publishing okay just to specify the passing score i want it 100 okay question so you are now to type here that the questions you want to ask to your students to verify their learning okay to check if they've uh, learned from the materials you've shared and so on okay so suppose uh, I want to move on to question number one. Okay. In the creation of a quiz, I usually prepare already the, the quiz in the Microsoft Word, then I just have to do the copy paste of my quiz, okay, so that they can have a spontaneous creation of a quiz. They can continuously type the, the content of the quiz. So, suppose I would like to include this uh, question. Okay, so the following statement describes the advantage of timeliness in web publishing. Okay, you just have to copy that and paste here. So that's question number one. Then the options, the answer options be pasted here. Just have to copy the option one, copy, paste. Then option two, you can just type if you like, but to me, I do the copy pasting. Then if the boxes for the answers are not enough you can always have to click the add answer button to add more uh, options okay next copy then paste so you have here three options for this question okay so if i don't have any more options i just have to check the correct answer and suppose the correct answer is the second option i just have to click done okay so that's how the creation of a quiz is okay so that quiz is only a one item quiz just a sample okay so when a student take a quiz they just have to click it here okay to that uh, take a quiz or take quiz button then it will appear okay so number one question the following statement describes the advantage okay the student will choose from the options then click submit okay so after making a quiz and after taking it Suppose it was, it was already taken by the student, you will have here something like idea about the, the completed posts. Like in this unit, I have four posts, three materials, and one quiz. And that quiz is already taken. So I have here one of four posts completed. Okay, if the student had already uh, taken the quiz, okay it will give you, you know, the teacher an idea about the, the completion status of the student okay so the student can always retake the quiz but you can always and can can see the answers but you can always do edit the, the quiz okay so to do the editing of a quiz you just have to click the, the ellipses here the three dots here then click edit quiz then you can change the correct answer if it's wrong 
you can add more answer okay but i don't want to add supposed only if you want to add more or if you want the student will will explain why this is the correct answer okay then that's it and if you want to add more question because it's only one item you can always click at the button add question here okay so suppose i want to add a question okay so i'll first have to restore then add more item to the quiz so just have to go back to this word document where i saved my items okay so you can just type the quiz or copy from your document so this is the question number two then the options one just copy paste it oops okay so highlight paste second option copy then paste add answer because i have three options and the third option is the correct option or correct answer copy then paste okay so this is the correct answer i just have to check or click check here or if you want to your students to explain why you can always uh, add more add this type of uh, field to your quiz okay so if you are done with the quiz and you don't have additional items or if you want to reorder the questions like the second question will be the first question you can always click at the reorder questions here so that the first question will be the second and the second question will be the first okay so if you are done just click done reordering so after which you can i have to just maximize this okay so after which if you are done with the quiz and you only want to have two items, then just click done button here. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay. So, this is already the updated. Okay. The updated uh, quiz. So, since I had already taken the quiz, the, the button here will be retake but if I haven't yet uh, taken the quiz it will be take quiz only okay so I'll retake the quiz because in the second uh, retake, in the, the, this retake we'll, I'll have two items to answer okay so first question okay then next for the next item then click just the answer then submit if I'm already done so that's how the students interact with this uh, quiz if they do it okay so let's see okay so you need to score at least 100 percent to pass this quiz retake it or review your answers because i was not able to reach 100 percent i have to retake the quiz and so on so you will know the student will know if their answer is correct or wrong here Okay, so see answers. I only got 50% correct. Okay, I made a wrong answer in the second item. So I already take the quiz. So that's it. So first quiz, I'm, I think third, uh, yes, this. Next, and then the second option is the correct one. Okay, so that's it. This is my third retake. Third take. Okay. So if the student if the student got the perfect score or the passing score for this quiz, it will have this one. We need to score at least okay, see answers. Hi. The correct answer is second and the second and Ah, okay last okay so let the take so correct answer is this one for the second item the correct answer is this one then submit Okay, 
So if the student get the correct answers, the per have a perfect score or reach that the requirement of a passing score, it will have this. Uh, uh, what's this? It will have this remark. So congratulations, you have passed this quiz with a score of 100 percent. So this is it. Okay, so we are done already with the creation of a quiz. So we can also do this in another unit. Okay, so in every unit, if you want to go back to that unit two, you can have to always click at the units here. Then look for the unit title here. Then click at that particular unit if you want to create a quiz because we had only created for unit one. So same procedure, just have to click create quiz here. If you want to create a quiz for this unit, okay, then do the same thing, which we did earlier. Okay, so that's all about creating a quiz, okay? So I hope you've learned from those demonstrations. Okay, so we are to move on to the last activity we shall have in this training. That's the downloading of the quiz results so suppose all of the students are done with the quiz and you want to check or record their score you want to see their scores you can always go back to that unit where you have posted or created a quiz so i would like to go back to that unit one and click at the quiz okay okay so here we are I want to download the result of this quiz. I just have to click here the ellipses. The three dots here. Then click download. Let's move down. Click download results. So after clicking the download results, we will see here in the Excel uh, interface the result of the quiz. It will be downloaded by, we can download it in Excel format. Okay, so this is already the result of the quiz. You can view it in Excel. So you will know here the, the quiz taker, then the title of the quiz, the, the quiz version, the question ID, question text, the question type, single choice. Then we have... The correct answer, the correct answer ID, the correct answers text, and then the response date and time when the quiz is taken, the response IDs, and then the responses text. So that's the content of the the quiz results. And here in the last three columns, we have the correct, okay, the quiz score. And the attempt number okay if the students had answered correctly you will know here because it will have a true remark if they answered it right and a false remark if they have answered it wrong and you will know also that we score okay how many percent of the items are answered correctly and how many attempts did the student uh, tried to, to take the, the quiz okay so that's about the results of the quiz okay so that would be all about the download quiz you can always download the quiz anytime you like if there are new responses so you'll also be updated so unless you have more Questions or clarifications about this training, we have to call it a day and uh, don't hesitate to always reach out to us and I'll always be willing to give you another demonstration or a tutorial video answered correctly. You will know here because it will have a true remark if they answered it right and a false remark if they have answered it wrong. And you will know also that we score, okay, how many percent of the items are answered correctly and how many attempts did the student uh, tried to, to take the, the quiz.
Okay? So, that's about the results of the quiz. Okay. So, that would be all about the download quiz. You can always download the quiz anytime you like. If there are new responses, so you'll also be updated. So, unless you have more questions or clarifications about this training, we have to call it a day. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you so much, dear teachers, for bearing with me. And uh, you are always uh, welcome for more learning, for more activities, more uh, seminars, and so on. Okay, so God bless everyone. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Thank you.